Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 22nd of 2022. Well, it is titled a whale of an aurora over Swedish forest. So what do we see here? Well, the image taken in Sweden and looking up at the sky, we do see the aurora in a green glow. And perhaps you see the image of a whale there or maybe you see something else. So you can consider what you might see there. Of course, the aurora don't have any specific shape. They happen to look like random patterns on the sky. But our minds like to put some kind of order to that randomness. So we tend to see them as being looking like something. So here we may tend to see that as a whale or perhaps you see it as something else. Now the green glow of the aurora is caused when charged particles from our sun strike the Earth's magnetic field and follow along it to the north and south magnetic poles. And that's where they strike Earth's atmosphere and will excite the oxygen atoms which they will cause to glow. When they excite the electrons in those oxygen atoms, oxygen gives off a distinct green color, giving us the very green color that we see in the aurora. Now, the amount of particles that we get from the sun changes as the solar activity changes. The sun has been very quiet over the last few years while it was at its minimum of solar activity. And it has about an 11 year cycle. So the last few years have been the minimum. And now we're going to be heading back up towards a maximum again. And that means we should see more aurora like this and other different solar storms that will occur uh, because the sun will be more active. We will see more sun spots, we will see uh, more solar flares and aurora, and even coronal mass ejections. And when that occurs, those throws a lot of particles out towards Earth, uh, a lot of material off of the sun and to and to Earth or in the general out into space in general. And those ones that happen to come close to Earth can then give us a beautiful display like the one that we see for our image today. But again, it is all atmospheric effects. Had we no atmosphere, these particles would not be visible like this. And of course, if we had no magnetic field, they would be spread out and not concentrated. We would see them all over the Earth as a much dimmer glow. The magnetic field serves to concentrate these particles and where they strike Earth so that we uh, can see them in the way that we happen to again at very far northerly latitudes such as Sweden here and also at very far southerly latitudes. So that was our picture of the day for March 22nd of 2022. It was titled a whale of an aurora over Swedish forest. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.